Hello everyone and welcome to this post commentary of a different um, Deathwing battle than you've ever seen. Normally, the order is um, green, red, yellow, blue, right? Well, no. My group that I'm in be became daring. We did red, blue, green, yellow. And we'll tell you why. Well, first of all, we our DPS, if you look at my recount at the corner, we're, we're all doing above 20k which we're actually all doing almost 30k each for our dragon soul raid with it with it nerfed that is overdoing it but we didn't want to turn the nerf off because hey that would make it harder for doing something we were doing so we decided to make it harder on ourselves by doing blue not last like people usually do we did red first because we'll have the damage buff in the bolt and but we still have our health and emerald dream with Emerald Dream, every Impale, while I one tanked this, um, I would click it whenever Impale happened. With our DPS, as you could see, we nerfed the nerfed the the corruption before it had a chance to do anything. Her hemorrhage was no problem as we just AoE'd them, and the tentacles were no problem at all. As you can see, hemorrhage is right now appearing, and of course you can see Vent. Now I'm sorry that you cannot hear us in Vent, because this is BSR after all. But I am getting craps in just three days, and that will record vent as well. Yep, this is probably my last video that's to do with crappy BSR. As you can see, we're DPSing Cataclysm, and as you can also see, look at that. Cataclysm's not even cast yet, and that tentacle is almost dead. That tentacle is almost dead, and yet we still have almost Cataclysm cast. Had we overdone it, um. Cataclysm, the arm would have died, and uh, Cataclysm would have been cast with no interrupts. As you can see what I just said, we almost wiped for too much damage. We now go over to blue. Why blue, you ask, and not green or yellow? Blue is said to be the blast platform because it's the hardest. Well, no, this is not true. Tentacles are not uh, one shot at blue when it's the last, when it's second, because it is not needed. The bolt does not shoot at you on blue a second because it does not have to because Nos Dormu is still alive. Because of it, we can completely ignore the mechanic and just imp nuke down the Impale. This left us very open and with, em with Emerald still around, we could easily win. As you can see, Bolt is about to be cast in 15 seconds from my um, DBM. 10 seconds. The Elementium is dying rather quickly because of our DPS. Five seconds, two, one. Now, normally you would stack. Normally you would stack and stuff and run away, but look, Nos because we didn't kill yellow, Nazdormu's line's still there. This means the vault will not kill us. And we proceed to AoE down the tentacles because we don't need a multi target. I'm sure you can barely hear the music I have in the background. As you can see, yes, we're not even we're not even thinking about single target, we're just DPSing them down with AoEs. And hemorrhage is appearing, so yes, we'll do the same with that one. What the old order did, green, red, um, yellow, blue, was you know, it actually made it harder on yourself. People only did it because it's what people usually did. You would have the 20% damage buff the whole time, yes, but. It actually makes it harder on you because you don't have Emerald Dream the whole fight. Nor will you have Nas Dormu's um, thing in the very end. Which I think makes the fight just makes the fight harder. Because our DPS is too large, too huge, um, we don't even need to worry about losing the 20% buff. Because hey, you don't need it. Cataclysm is cast, the arm is almost dead. We go to green now. With green, we still have our Emerald Dream button. But of course, now you're probably wondering, Oh, but dude, you're not going to have any Emerald Dream for yellow. You're screwed. Well, that's why we're doing yellow last. Nazdorma will still slow attacks down. 
And also, as you can see, even though we have lost our little buff, we're still doing a lot of damage. With, um, I can still use that for impales. And here comes the vault, where Nosdormal will freeze it so he can't hurt us, and we're going to kill the monster, even with, even with the 20% debuff, we still were able to kill it, even with the 20% damage increase going away, we still were able to kill the impale, we'll kill the corruption before the impale. And that, with that though, we're pretty much set, we're gonna win. But we single target these guys. Many people think that it's specifically blue and yellow that you single target, when this is not true. You only single target the tentacles of the last two platforms that you go on. So let's say you do blue, yellow, green, red. I know that's horrible, but I'm saying example. Then only green and red you get single targeted. You do green, red, yellow, blue like most people do, and only yellow and blue are single targeted. You do our strategy, and only green and yellow we get single targeted. Now though, because we have lost our 20% buff, these re regenerative bloods do not die easily. We have to single target them in order for them to die. That's the only disadvantage at losing the, at doing blue first, or second. Only disadvantage. But of course, also with the damage buff, the as you can saw, the tentacle was at half health before we began doing cataclysm. But it is no problem because our DPS is amazing. We're single targeting the tentacles because we have to, and as you can see, though, throughout the whole fight, you see that our health's barely been moving whatsoever. Barely been moving much. No, it hasn't been hit through critical levels. 20 seconds of Cataclysm, but the arm's dead. And here we go to yellow. Now, we may not have the Emerald Dream anymore, but I still have my own cooldowns to block the Corruption's attacks. And we still have Nosdorm's Nos ability to slow bolts, which, make it, which makes the fight still a piece of cake. Alex Straza's only did extra damage to the tentacles. Uh, and the uh, Yerxas only let us take 50% less damage. And that Kalgorog guy, whatever he's called, only increased our damage a little. Now, Stormy though is the only aspect that does something, and that is slow the enemy's attacks. If not, is not Storm who dies first, then uh, you better hope you have good DPS, which is what we're going to do next week, actually. The same group, hopefully the same group. I'm hoping they'll. I gave them all my user names, so hopefully they'll PM this um, comments this um, video. Yes, please PM this com this video if you are one of the members of this raid. We're going to try and attempt this again sometime next week, and uh, and do Nuzdormu first. Now, if I remember right, our order was um, red, no, yellow, red, blue, green. Yellow, red, blue, green is our order. Yellow will take out the Nosdormus. Then we'll have to stack from then on to avoid being pwned by a bolt. Then we do, but we use Emerald Dream. The rest of why green dies last. When the bolt comes down for red and it can't be slowed, everyone stacks and then clicks on Emerald Dream. And hey, only take half the damage, where we then nuke it down quickly before it can kill us. The same goes with, with um, red, blue, and then green. So that basically makes the bolt null and void. Null and void. But the regenerative bloods will be a problem. The regenerative bloods will regenerate very quickly, so they'll be a huge problem. We'll have to single target them, each and every one, before they, um, you know, regenerate. Huh. 
This is the first time I've post commentary, so I'm trying to watch the video and speak at the exact same time. Thinking my thoughts of what's happening. As you can see, Cataclysm is now cast and has 40 seconds until it's used. Will we be able to do it? Yes, we will. We have Although our health looks a bit shaky right now, that is. But that is no problem. 25 seconds to Cataclysm. Twenty seconds, and it is destroyed. Now, for a second, we're confused. We don't know if we're to jump back or not. We don't know where to go back to the other side to breathe. But we learn in just a minute that we do that. We we think we can't jump over, but as you can see, I jumped through Deathwing's face. He is not a solid. He is ghosty, Mr. Ghosty. So that may have set us back a little, it could have caused the white, could have caused a white, that giant pause of inactivity of the fragments, and as you can see, our healer just almost died. But no, we were able to pick up back on our feet, kill the fragments, and I was able to get the terrors. Yes, this fight can be one tanked. If, if, you, if you have two tanks, make sure your tank is as skilled as me. Uh, Dream helps a lot with the terrors, and having extra DPS just makes it all the more easier. We did one tank, two heals, seven DPS, which is could be very dangerous, but hey, we did it. Burn his fucking ass! We now just ignore the fragments and terrors and just burn him. Now just watch though. Something happens to us. Something. I'm not sure what. I think it's Snarple. It's probably Snarble, bud. Oh look, Berserk in three minutes. We're going way, way overboard. Um, something kills us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Snarple, but everyone just drops, as you'll see in a second. He's losing health quickly. He's dying. Everyone is. People, you gotta press. You gotta press Dream at every at every single moment you can. Deathwing is everyone else is dead. Me and only me and one DPS are left. Both healers are down. Both healers are down. Two DPS left. One tank left, which is me. And look at that. We win. With no wipes. We did this on the first attempt with this strategy. No clue what we were doing. Well, we were on vent, but so we had most of a clue, but it was the first time we did this strategy of mind blank red yellow blue red blue y green yellow this strategy has proven to be awesome and I think you should try it and wish us wish us luck when we do yellow red blue green I can feel the elements awakening Rejoicing. The cataclysm is over. The champions who fought at our side assured the survival of our world. But now, we must see it with mortal eyes. We dragon aspects have fulfilled our great purpose and our ancient power is expended but though our day draws to an end life endures and new generations will be born today's victory belongs to all who stood against the shadow you are azeroth's true guardians and the future of this world is in your hands for the dawning of the Age of Mortals has begun.